It's the biggest win for Colorado Republicans in years. They don't have the votes to do anything at the state capitol, but the Democrats in charge there so feared the conservative property tax cuts would win on the ballot in November, they're bringing everybody back to the capitol to strike a deal and take those issues off the ballot. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger is here to explain this. And it's a pretty big victory for a small minority of Republicans at the Capitol. Because Republicans know how to get things on the ballot, and that's where this comes into play. Two Republican-backed ballot issues promise greatly reduced property tax increases, but at the expense of local government funding and the state budget. Let me cut to Is it a good precedent to call a special session because you're concerned voters might say yes to a ballot issue that you don't want them to say yes to? Well, it's always good when we can find a way forward that has more buy-in, broader buy-in uh, that Republicans and Democrats can agree on rather than have a divisive or risky set of initiatives. With this executive order, Democratic Governor Jared Polis called the legislature back to work for later this month. The special session will attempt to limit property tax increases even more and cap future property tax increases a little more, something lawmakers thought they did earlier this year, just not enough to avoid two ballot issues that promise more property tax savings. If you have a solution now in the special session that could have existed in the legislative session, was that a failure of leadership to not get it? Um, it could have. Yeah, it could have. I hoped it would. I mean, it was close, right? I don't think it's a matter of playing the, the blame game. It's really a matter of saying, I'm just glad that, you know, while there weren't discussions for a while and both sides went to their corners, that people came back together and hopefully worked it out. We've always said if the legislature goes and does this, we might get two thirds of what we want. Um, but, you know, that's what compromise is. And Michael so Fields is a familiar face. He is not elected, but often gets conservative policy issues on the ballot. His two property tax ballot issues would save property owners more than the legislature has done, but it would also limit local government funding and perhaps school funding that the state might not fully cover. The threat that voters might support that brings us to this special session, where those ballot issues would go away if lawmakers provide additional relief and and caps on future property tax increases. We are not planning on bringing future measures forward unless the legislature goes back on this deal. Is Michael Fields the most powerful Republican in Colorado? Uh, no, I mean, I don't think, it, again, this is not him as a Republican. Uh, what has power is that hundreds of thousands of Coloradans have put their name and signed a ballot initiative to put it on the ballot. We agree that the people uh, are the, the most powerful thing in the system, whether they're electing officials or running ballot measures in order to do that. So, um, yeah, we agree. Let's be clear. No matter what happens at the legislature, your property tax bill is not going to go down. Again, it's minimizing the increase. Your property tax is here. Maybe it's going to go up to here, but now it's really going to go there. So just be clear. It's still going to go up. You might be asking, why would Michael Fields pull these ballot issues if clearly the special session is like, whoa, they're going to pass, so we better get the, like, that's the idea. Why would he want the whole thing? Right. Uh, it's a lot of money to run ballot issues, mm -hmm. and you're concerned that maybe the opposition will spend a lot of money telling voters to say no to it, so this is that compromise. Hey, we're going to get some of what we want. Good enough for me. So what keeps the people that Michael Fields represents, which are the wealthiest people in the state, from coming back next year and being like, you know how we shook you down last year? Now let's shake you down for even more. Trust. I don't believe there's any like written legal document, but it's trust that even in this interview, Michael Fields said as long as lawmakers don't go back on this, meaning like start to tweak up some of these numbers in future legislatures, they'll stand back and just watch the, the numbers be what they are. All right. Special session. Your plans are made. Enjoy that. Marshall Zellinger, thank you.